Hello, it is another episode of Breaking Points, and today we are right here in United States of Ashaiman yeah. inside Lebanon, School Junction. Our guest for today's show is no other, Abigail Ofori, the CEO of Abi Rab. Trust me, guys, our discussion today, you will love to watch it over and over and over and over again. Look, I won't waste your time. I'll go for a quick commercial break. When I come back, I will introduce my guest for today on Breaking Point. Stay tuned. I will be right back. Yes, you are welcome back. My guest for today's episode is Abigail Ofori, the CEO of Abira. Now, let's jump into our discussion so we get to know our guest very well today. Hello, you are welcome. Hello. Okay, so uh, who is Abigail? Abigail Ofori, and she's a Christian, and she's on fabric. Oh, okay. Names are very important. Yes. Names play a major role in our life. Why did you choose the name Abira? Okay, thank you. My name is Abigail and uh, Fabric, some other uh, people call it a rapper. So Abi Rap, Abi Rap. So we have divided the rapper into two, so Abi Rap. Oh, wow. You see? Hmm. That sounds so sweet. Abi Rap, Abi Rap. Okay, so tell us, um, where did you grow up? And in do you have shine. siblings? How did you start your life? I grew up in a shine man in Lebanon in Baku Flat. Tell us what are some of the life um, stories that you want our viewers and our <laughs> listeners to know. I mean, we want to we want to know you better. Having a business as a young lady like you didn't come on a silver platter. Oh, yeah. There is a story. Yes. What is your story? I started small and by the grace of God, I'm here and I'm still hoping I'll grow higher and higher some years to come. So uh, the story behind this thing is, this place is, um, I started, I was a hawker and now mm. by the grace of God, this is where I am. You were a hawker? Yeah. Okay, so um, hawking and being at one place, which one helps you to get more sales? Whoa, thank you. The hawking, you know, in our society, like yeah, your environment now, you're finding your way to in right now. No, a lot of people believe that if you sell fabric, they will credit it. Mm -hmm. So you being a hawker. The possibility near high is that people will credit it. Okay. Because you are sending it to them, you are taking it to them, so they will credit. But you settle in another a uh, a uh, one place, no. They are coming from uh, like for it. That is what they want. So if they come, they will buy it. So the hawking and the setting up one place, no. I will choose the setting up one place over the hawking. Sitting at one place yeah. over the hawking. Is it the stress involved? Yeah, the stress and fabrics too is a bit heavy. So you carrying it or you, I don't know the ways that you used to, to hawk, but I don't think the hawking is a good idea. Even the dust will sell the earth, will spoil the fabric, the sun and all those things. Fabrics, you need to preserve it well. Yeah, so I think Sitting at a place or a shop, I think it is far better than working. It's far better than working. Yeah. Okay, so now you are a CEO. How did you start, Abira? As I was saying, I started with small and... How much? If you say you started with small, what is that <laughs> small that you are talking Is it? You know... Is it 10,000 Ghana cities, 20,000 no. Ghana cities? Or 300,000 Ghana cities. I mean, let us know. The because... audience should come and see me in chambers. <laughs> <The audience> because... <laughs> yes. 
the audience should come and see me in, in chambers. But I believe it is not more than maybe uh, like 2,000 Ghana cities. It wasn't more than 2,000 no, Ghana no, 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 no. They should come and see me in So how, how, how were you able to if, mobilize? Even, even it is not up to 2,000 Ghana cities. It wasn't up to 2,000. Yes. All these that we see. Yes, it is not up to Started 2, less than. Less than. 2,000 Ghana cities. Yes. How were you able to mobilize, uh, let's say, less than 1,000 Ghana or 2,000 Ghana cities to start um, selling fabrics? Okay. I started it, I think, the year 2019. 2019. And by then, fabrics were not that uh, expensive like that. So it's all about determination. I mm. saw myself, like, being a great person mm. i had a dream mm. a great ambition mm. and that is i don't like that is where i am now because i see myself tomorrow as a big person so that's energized me it boosts me up that gives me a lot of strength to stretch mm. to go for it yeah okay so as a young lady like as a young beautiful lady like you yeah. now uh, our you today the ladies most of the ladies i mean people are showing their body on the internet yeah. people are showing their boobs their backs to get something to eat what actually motivated you that all these things are not something that you want to do but you want to own a business by your own self which can take good care of you. What actually motivated you to start? Okay, fabrics? thank you. Um, what motivates me a lot is I was seeing myself tomorrow. What would tomorrow come of? How would I become tomorrow? So I have the uh, capaci uh, capacity to do that, but I didn't. I chose to work hard because see myself to be a great person tomorrow i don't have to do that because social media will remind you of your past mm. yes social media will remind you of your past there's a lot of posts that we post you think some years you won't see it but facebook used to always remind you of your past so you showing your butt your your bust and removing your half naked and all those stuff you pay for it tomorrow. You pay for it tomorrow. Yeah, you pay for it tomorrow. So who advised you to start Abira? No one. Mm. I was inspired by the word of God. You were inspired yeah. by the word of God. Yeah. Wow. I, I think this is my first time hearing someone say that I, I was inspired by the word of God to start a business. Now, starting up. What are the challenges, some of the challenges that you faced? Yeah, the challenge, thank you. The challenges are, I told you earlier, some will, will buy, they won't pay. Some will buy yeah. on credit, they won't pay. So every business, we have disadvantage and advantage too. So those are my challenges. And so your challenges was? Buying on credit, they selling won't, on credit. Yes, yeah, selling on credit, they won't pay because some of the clients, the time I, I was a hawker, they they always want to buy on credit. Oh, okay. Okay. Some will pay, some will not pay. Mm. So that's those are my challenges. But okay, so let's look at the the current trend. Okay. How do you um, update yourself to the current trend? of social media to meet your target audience okay i post i do more most of uh status whatsapp status i post i send to people organizations door to door and all those that publicity it matters publicity yeah matters. publicity is, yeah okay so um you doing this business right you do having this business that you are doing how do you manage your personal life and your business as well it's a great <laughs> it's a great task because uh, this business would if <laughs> it takes a lot of time mm. and 
um if care is not taken you will even have a private life because sometimes 11 p.m someone will call that he wants fabric or she wants fabric mm -hmm. wow yes so you have to be dedicated like dedicate yourself to the business because your personal life and this business, I don't think doing this kind of business, you have a personal life. This is what you do and this is your life. This is what you do and, and then this, this is, is your, your life. life. Yes. So let's say your 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 soon to be okay. needs you. Okay. How do you manage that? Because client calling you t um, eleven PM that I need A, B, and Z and it, it is emergency and you decide to come sell to the person how do you how do you soon to be i mean take it on all that thank you very much he understand the nature of my work and sometimes to he helped me to sell at that time that time i won't come out he will come and sell for you he will come and sell for yes. you all right our discussion is getting more interesting <laughs> and trust me this is just a gist of what is about to happen today on breaking point yeah. i'll go for a quick break when i come back we are going to continue stay tuned yes you are welcome back it is still breaking point with me abigail uh, the ceo of abira and our discussion is getting interesting you know something. What is the question you have for Abra? Let me know at the comment section and you'll get to answer all your questions to us all. How do you deal with customers that sometimes they are not satisfied with the kind of service that you give them? You have to, thank you. You have to make sure they get what they want mm -hmm. because they will wear what you sell. Mm -hmm. So the comfortability, you have to let them feel comfortable because they will wear it. It, it is no you. So you have to make sure they are satisfied of what they want. Yeah. Okay. You have to be, you have to make sure your customers are satisfied. Tell us more about your business. In Ashima Percy, a lot of people understand or they know that if you want fabric, unless you go to the market, we don't have a big fabric shop like this unless Abu Rab wow yeah so i make sure you get what you want mm. yes i make sure you get what you want so pass through and you get what you want pass through then you get what you want yes. what are some of the fabrics that you have in stock in abira okay we have gtp we have holland we have high target we have all kinds of fabric every fabric that you want you just DM me and you'll be sorted out. Just DM and you'll be sorted out. Yeah. Um, where is your business located? Are you on social media so someone can contact you? Oh, yes. Um, Abirap is located at Ashima Street Junction, opposite Countryside Pub. And um, social media, I'm on Instagram, Abirap Fabric. Facebook, Abirap Fabric. And the... Uh, and what's up to and what's up to Abira Fabric? So DM me and you get what you want. Your telephone number? 024 024-8250-154. Okay, so can you share any lifestyle challenges you've made recent and how did it impact your life? Okay. I sing in church mm. and sometimes I wear what I sell. So standing on the pulpit to sing with what I, I sell, mm. yes, it always brings a lot of clients. Yes. So I aligned with the singing with my business. Yeah. So I think it it is helping because every day or every week I want to I'll be singing, so I would love to sew a new dress. So a lot of people see me on stage with a new dress or what I wear. Mm. They love to wear some. They love to wear some. Yes. In the next 
five, ten years, where do you want to see yourself? GTP company in Ghana. I want to be the brand ambassador in the next five years. In the next five years? Yes. And are you, are you working towards that? Yes. By the grace of God, he will help me to By the grace accomplish of God. it. Yes. So if <laughs> GTP is watching you, and I know they are watching, what are you going to say to them? GTP company Ghana, I won't disappoint you. Just look out and I won't, I won't. Just watch out in the nearest five years and I won't disappoint you. Our discussion is getting more interesting and I will go for a quick break. When I come back, we are going to do the fun time. Uh, if you are ready, <laughs> then I'll be right back. Yeah, you are welcome back. It's breaking point. Baby, you drew no. It's about having fun. If you are ready, drop me the beat. My first question. Hmm. Let me just relax. <laughs> you see, I have this one, I love this part. So I have to relax and enjoy. Avira, yes. what do you like to do in your free time? I read the word of God. Mm. I read the Bible. Mm. Yes. What's your favorite verse? Psalm 23. Let's go. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, shepherd and I will shall not want. want. He led me to lie down in green pastures. He led me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He led me in the path of righteousness. For his name's sake, ye draw, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anointed my head with oil and my cup rounds over. Surely, Surely goodness, goodness and, and mercy, mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will <laughs> continue. I will draw in the house of the Lord. Amen. Ah, <laughs> I tell you. So you watching. How many years of wife material do you think she is? Question. Question. <laughs> Would you like to answer? No. Uh, okay. Let the viewers do. <laughs> let them... All right. So let's go. Um, how do you like to relax? Listening to gospel music mm. and sleep. What's your favorite song? A lot. Your Hill favorite songs. One of your favorites. Nathaniel Bassi. See what the Lord has done. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. You're going to continue. All right. So my next question is, what are your favorite hobbies and or activities? I love to play spa. You love to? Play spa. Spa. Like? Yeah. Spa. Uh -huh. Oh, are we? Uh, <laughs> like, guys, I'm even surprised. <laughs> A lady who likes to play spa. Wow. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, Ari mm. and Ludu. And Ludu. Yeah. Do you know how to play Ludu? Yeah. More than me? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> right. So <laughs> watch out. We are going to play Ludu before we end this episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's go. What's your type of music and why? My type of, like, example, like Nathaniel Bassi. I love his song. Because it always, that, that song always inspired me. And if we come to our local dialogue, I love um, Dinah Hamilton. Mm -hmm. 
Can you sing any of any of this? Sing any of me oh my friend. Can you? Then Saturday in the Juma. Ay 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 ay. Sing any of me oh my friend. Sing any of me oh yeah Juma. This is this is the doing of the Lord. The wife material that can also <laughs> sing when you are sad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, have you ever tried anything adventurous? And yeah, mm. adventurous, adventurous, adventurous. No. No. Yeah. What's your favorite type of vacation? Sitting at the beach. Sitting at the beach. Wow. Why? I always relax when I see the beach. You always relax when you see the beach. When was the last time you visited the beach? This year. This year? When was that? March. March. So then it's been a while since you relaxed. Yeah. Whack, I guess. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> I told you this part, you will love it. And trust me, I want you to keep sharing and keep commenting. And then also remember to subscribe to our channel. KJ TV and also KJ Radio. And make sure you also patronize Abira. Contact her, the number displayed on your screen. Yes. Make sure you also locate her at Ashaiman Lebanon School Junction. When you get there, just contact the number on your screen and you get to get all the fabrics that you want. You cannot, we also do delivery, door to door delivery, wherever that you are we deliver to your doorstep. What's the best advice you've ever received and from who? Thank you very much. The best advice I received, I received it from my pastor. Mm. And um, he told me that Abira, never show off, never show off, always lay low and it will always help you. Rich people don't make noise. Rich people don't make noise. Empty barry <laughs> make makes the most, most noise. noise. So if yes. you are filled with water, <laughs> yes. you don't make noise. Yes. <laughs> What's the name of your pasta? Pasta you man no for Papa, I love you so much. Alright. So wherever <laughs> you find yourself, Pasta you man no big shout outs to you yeah. for this big advice. Okay. That brings me to my <laughs> next question. If you could have any superpower, what would it be and why? Superpower. I would like to have wisdom than Queen, uh, King Solomon. Superpower. Yeah. Wisdom. Wisdom. And what are you going to use the wisdom to do? To change Why everything. Mm. The affliction in the world mm. and things not going well. Mm. Yes, I'll build my own empire. Mm. And trust me, to and be what nice. what will be the name of your empire? Abirap Empire. Empire. Okay, <laughs> if you have the opportunity or we have the power to change something in Ghana, what is it going to be? People sleeping on the street. Why? Anytime I see such, it always made me make me cry. Were you sleeping on the street? Yes, I have, I, I, I have one sleep on the street before. Mm -hmm. And the ricks, the fear, and it was so headache and headache. Okay. Wow. Wow. <sighs> so, have you ever found yourself in dangerous situation the time that you were sleeping on the street? Yes dangerous situation like people raping you some will try to kill you some will try to do a lot of stuff a lot of harmful thing to you because you have no where else where nowhere to sleep so you have encounter with mad people mm -hmm. and all those stuff so if i have superpower or if i can change something in ghana I would love to build a big place and people will be sleeping in it freely. Free of charge. Yes. May God bless this. Amen.
heart. <laughs> All right. Um, if you could have a dinner with any public figure, who would it be and why? My pastor is a public figure, so I I'll, I'll, I'll love to have a dinner with my pastor, oh. Pastor Emmanuel Mefo. Why do you want to have dinner with your pastor? Because he's a public figure. He, he's a public figure? Yeah. What's so special about him that you want to have a dinner with him? He's a man of wisdom, mm. and a few minutes with him, you learn a lot. He will impart a lot in you. So try to um, look for him, and your life will be blessed. Yeah, he will transform your life. If you could switch life with someone for a day, who would it be and why? Reverend is to Anaba. Why? I like the man. Mm. He's, he is filled with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And I like his messages. Mm -hmm. His teaching. I like his personality. Mm. Even if I'm a woman, but he motiv every and anytime I see him, I'm happy. So I would love to switch life with him. With him, yeah. Okay. For a day. For a day. Mm. <laughs> I'll be happy. You'll be if, happy. Yeah. If I'm okay, a so revenue another. You love him so much. Yes. What's one message of revenue to that and about that if you your head is being taken off, you can still remember that message? Yes, he came to my church, the Rohi church, and he preached on uh, Psalm 23. And the way he go about the Psalm 23, the way we see Psalm 23 is he made us understand it in a different dimension. Mm. So even that sermon mm. boosts my spiritual life and all those stuff. So if I will, oh, I love the man. You love the man. Yes, I love the man. What is the most memorable gift you've ever received? And why is it still special? A necklace for my husband to be. Mm. And... That gift, anytime I see it, I'm so happy. I, I always feel um, I belong to someone. And I always feel I'm special. When your mother needs something from you, okay. what's the name that she used to call you? <laughs> that when you hear this particular sound, it means I need something. She calls me Mansa. And she, the tonation that she will use, mm. that will show that she needs something. And how, 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 how is that sound? Oh, maybe I'm answer. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe I'm answer. Mm. Me pay the magic. Ah, <laughs> you fancy me? You know. Yeah, maybe I'm answer. The magic is it. Me na ya anka me pay. Wow. So, um, my last question. Okay. What is your your message for the youth, for your customers, anyone who has contributed to your success up to date? Okay. Thank you very much. My message to the youth out there is what you do today will determine where you go tomorrow. So, you you have to be all like you have to be mindful of every, everything that you do, and to my client and my customers, always pass through, and I'll give you the best of the best. Always pass through, and we give you the best. Of the best. And nothing. By the best. And always. The best. Abirap. Okay. What's the slogan? <laughs> And to my fear, I'll be rap. And to my fear, I'll be rap. And to my papa, pa fear. And to my papa, pa pa fear, and ye. And to baby, I will be a se open and to my papa, pa a coton. I say, O quack or worry. Open to ma. O de ma was a wall backer say, me a branty we will be to me after me banish ye, dear. Then baby, I was a oba, a year, I'll be rap. 
Nechukwan Ewo, United States of Ashaima, uh, Lebanon School Junction. Who drew her no more? A homotrophone that screen I said on. Offer a beraba. A bed also. Baby, I will be a. He beat me a deliver at the amount. Your package is a year at the marriage ceremony. In tea, your package, our package in India. Obi se ya ti to say fala 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 fala. Inti se Obi a beti mi awe. Exactly. Inti wunya contact ya Obi nya wodi ya na usu weti mi edi akwa kwa wae kama kama na efe. Make sure you contact her. Make sure you also like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, thank you for being with me. Thank you for having me today on Breaking Point. Your last message. My last message is there are few months to the election. The youth, don't let them use you. Always think of tomorrow and always think ahead and you'll be blessed. Always think ahead and you'll be blessed. Few uh, days to election and don't let them use, use you. you. Said by the CEO of, of Abi Rap. The name is Abigail Ofori. And my name, your host, King James. Thank you so much. And thank you for coming. Thank you. God you bless are very, you. Very, very, very beautiful. Thank you. you your are husband. So. Your <laughs> husband is blessed having such a wonderful woman. Amen. He has to hear this. <laughs> and he will hear that. All right. Thank you so much. Let's meet again in another episode. Okay. Right here. So the question is who is it going to be? Yes, is it you? Who is it? <laughs> Who is it going to be? Is it you? If you want to be part of this show, if you want us to come and then have an interview like this with you, just contact us, the number on your screen, or 054-9933-189. 054-9933-189. Contact us. Wherever you are, we will come to your doorstep and then interview you. And then the you say hi then. Bye! Bye! -bye. <laughs>